two open hearts. Deeper look. Let's take a deeper look at the story together. Two Open Hearts, A Pet Tale was inspired by a true story. There really was a Sven who passed away. This is the real Franz Josef Katzenberg. Did you notice how much they look alike? How are they alike? How are they different? Sven, Franz. There is a real cat named Etzel. He was named after a car. The name Etzel is of German origin. It means noble. The Etzel car was made by the Ford Motor Company. Mr. Ford named it after his son. There was a 1958, 1959, and a 1960 model. It was a flop. Nobody wanted an Etzel. It was very unpopular. The cat Etzel was a stray. His picture was put on social media. Nobody stepped up to adopt him. The kind person who found him decided to keep him. The cat and the car have something in common. Things can be high quality even if they are unpopular. The last name Katzenberg literally means cat mountain in German. Katzen means cats. Berg means mountains. Can you find Franz in the mountain of cats? Dylan and Rosita are to remind children how important it is in choosing close friends. Kids should always feel safe around their friends. Our dreams are important not everyone is going to believe in our dreams. That's okay. They can take a while to come true. Franz didn't give up on his dream even though his family thought he was crazy. Franz never gave up on his dream. This is the real Madonna sleeping next to the real Franz. Some friendships take time to grow. Mixed feelings are part of normal, mental, Sometimes telling the truth is not always easy. Heidi thought about falsely blaming Madonna for her scratch, but Heidi made the right choice instead. She was practicing integrity. There are other hidden meanings in this book. If you think you have found some, you are probably right. This information provided in this video is for general informational purposes only and should not be considered as professional counseling advice. Just like in the days of old, the best made suit and shoes for you would have come from your personal tailor and cobbler. Now, questions and answers. Let's think about it with Heidi and Franz. Number one, do you think Heidi ever looked at Franz and missed Sven? Number two, do you think Heidi ever cried again about Sven after adopting Franz? Number three, how hard do you think it was for Heidi to open up her heart after adopting Franz? Number four, how long does it take a heart to heal when a pet dies? Number five, does having a picture of a pet that has passed away help healing? Number six, does drawing a picture of a pet that has died help healing? Number seven, how helpful were Heidi's friends in helping her heal? Number eight, how helpful was Heidi's family 
in helping her heal. Number nine, what is one way you can support or help a friend if they lost a pet? Number 10, what kind of problems do you think Heidi told Sven? Number 11, do you think Franz was just as good at helping Heidi with her problems? Number 12, how did Heidi know his name was Franz? Number 13, why is it so important that so many family members pet Franz at first? Number 14, why are your dreams important? 15, who has the most power over your dreams? Number 16, what is the most important thing about this book? Number 17, what feelings did you have when you experienced this book? Number 18, what feelings do you think Heidi's friends, Dylan and Rosita had? Number 19, how do you think Franz felt about moving in with Heidi? Number 20, what is the most important thing about this book? Did you have some good ideas for some questions? Share them with your friends so your brain can help others. What pictures are your three favorites? Why? Please like and subscribe because it helps others find what you found. Thank you. You can get a paperback copy to hold in your hands on Amazon. Which one of these was the most important for today? Which one will you probably focus on next time? Will it be grief? friendship, integrity, or dreams.